Welcome friends, in this video let's discuss about Mughal school of painting. Mughal school of painting was originated in the reign of Akbar in 1560 AD, even though it was uh, started by Humayun uh, in 1550 AD, it was very short and most of the development took place under Akbar reign and this Mughal school of painting is a happy synthesis of Indian indigenous Indian style of painting and Safavid school of Persian painting, the present day Iran, okay? And this is generally confined to miniatures, that is the small uh, portraits of uh, painting on the paper and clothes, okay, rather than painting on the walls. And it is influenced by Hindu, Jain and Buddhist influences and developed largely in the court of Mughal Empire during 16th to 19th century AD. And this important characteristic of Mughal painting is it is marked by supple naturalism. It was marked by naturalism is the key here and based on the close observation of the nature and fine and delicate drawing. And other important characteristic is that it is primarily aristocratic and secular. Here aristocratic related to the uh, paintings are related to day-to-day -day activities of the kings and emperors and the paintings on the court scenes and related to the life of the kings and queens. And it is secular it is related to the secular aspect of life rather than the religious aspect. So unlike Rajasthani and Madhumani paintings, this is secular, whereas other paintings, uh, other Hindu paintings are religious. So please remember this. And let's look at the Mughal school of painting under various rulers. Okay, first Humayun. Humayun, he ruled Delhi uh, during two periods from 1530 to 40 for 10 years. And after that, he was defeated and he was exiled to uh, Persia, to the court of in, in the court of Safavid, Safavid court in Persia. And he came came back to India in 1555, and he ruled for only one year. And he because he died in an accident, he was fell from a uh, top of the building. So when he was in exile in Persia, he was in, inspired and uh, uh, inspired by the Persian miniature painting. And there itself he commissioned at least one work there, which is an unusually large painting of Princess of House of Timur. When he returned back to India from Persia, he brought two Persian artists, they are Said Ali and Abdus Samad. They inspired the Persianness into the Mughal school of painting. So, and Humayun's major work commission in India was Kamsa of Nizami. It has 36 paintings in it. So this is a brief period during Humayun and most of the work uh, was happened during Akbar period, okay, Akbar period. And the first and formative phase uh, is marked by Tutinama. This, this work is related to the, Tutinama means tales of the parrot. Here the parrot is telling the stories to the queen or a woman here. So this is accompanied by the text. So this story is told uh, by explaining through the pictures okay this is the tutinama so this is the formative work during the akbar period later the biggest some of the bigger works like hamza nama was commissioned during 1564 to 69 so this hamza nama contains illustrations on cloth okay it was painted on the cloth originally consists of 1400 leaves that means 1400 paintings are there and it, it is it is compiled in 17 volumes and it is measured about and each leaf measured about 27 inches to 20 inches and the style of Amzanama is more developed and refined than that of the Tutinama okay so this this is not individual paintings please remember these are the collections of painting Tutinama is collection of uh, different paintings and Amzanama is collection of 1400 paintings it is uh, organized into seven, 20, sorry, 17 volumes okay and later uh, sorry in Amzanama one important painting was there. It, here, here, Mihirdat, Mihirdat, archer in the palace of a queen, shooting arrows at the bird on a multi-staged minaret. Okay, he, he, she was shooting on the bird, and this painting shows the borrowings of uh, uh, the Mughal school of painting from various other schools from India. So here, the tree type are mainly derived from the Deccan painting. So these are all derived from the Deccan painting, so these styles and the female types are adapted from the earlier Rajasthani paintings, these, these females were adapted from the Rajasthani painting and the architecture is Indo-Islamic architecture. So women are wearing four covered uh, pointed skirts and 
transparent Muslim veils is characterized in this picture. So this shows Mughal school of architecture also borrowed other things from uh, various different schools of painting in India. And the important painting works under the Akbar rule are, I am listing some, some, some of these, if, if possible, please remember some of the things. And this include Tutinama, Hamzanama, Gulistan of Saadi dated to 1567, Anwari Suhalvi, and it is a book of fables and dated to 1570, and Razum Nama. This is important. It is a Persian translation of the Mahabharata. In the, it is at present is present in the Maharaja of uh, Jaipur Museum in Jaipur and Baharistan of Jami dated back to 1595 and Darab Nama. It is present in British Museum. Akbar, Akbar Nama compiled in 1600 AD and Babar Nama and other things. And important painters in the Akbar reign. Here, not only the Muslim painters, even the Hindu, Hindu painters were present. This shows the secularness of Akbar. Okay, Daswant, Mishkina, Nanha, and Kanha, Baswan, Manohar, Daulat, Mansur, K Kesu, Bhim Gujarati, Dharam Das, Madhu, Surdas, Lal, and these are all the important uh, painters. Okay, during the Akbar reign. Under Jahangir, the painting acquired the greater charm and refinement and dignity under the Jahangir rule after Akbar. And he had great fascination for the nature and took delight in the portraiture of uh, uh, birds, animals and flowers. The important feature during the Jahangir rule is that it shows the portrait of birds, animals and flowers, different birds and animals and flowers. And the Animal Fables book called Ayar e Dina, the Danish, Ayar e Danish uh, was uh, compiled during this Jahangir time and Anwari Sunwali uh, another fable was also formed during this time and some miniatures in Gulistan and Diwan of Hafiz are also there and besides a number of Darbar scenes portraits of birds animals and flowers uh, are also executed during Jahangir time the famous painters during Jahangir time are, is Akar Riza, Abul Hasan Mansur some of these painters were also present during, during Akbar time uh, Bishan Das, Manohar, Govardhan, Balchand, Daulat, and others. And the important feature of portrait of Jangir illustrated here, it is a great example of miniature executed during the Jangir period. It shows that Jangir holding a picture of Virgin Mary, okay, Mary, in his right hand in 1650 to 1620. And this is characterized by the bordering by golden golden border. So this is the important typical example of a portrait of Jang, uh, Jahangir during Jahangir time. And other school of painting within the Mughal school of painting is provincial uh, provincial Mughal painting. That is the popular Mughal painting. Here, the provincial officers under the Mughal period also recruited the painters uh, for painting the Mughal paintings here. But the finest of the finest painters were recruited by the Mughals and whatever left are recruited by the provincial officers. So the works of these painters are inferior in quality even though they have all the characteristics of the Mughal paintings. So they are inferior in quality. And some of the notable examples of popular Mughal paintings are series of Razam Nama dated to 1660 AD and series of Rasikapriya in 1610 to 1615 and series of Ramayana of during 1630. So this is the provincial uh, Mughal or popular Mughal uh, paintings. And under Shah Jahan, the style however become overripe. That means uh, a, a certain decline during the later period of Shah Jahan period. And portraiture was given considerable attention in his painting. Look at the painting. Shah Jahan was literally standing on the globe. Okay, so look at his picture and the size of the globe. Okay, <laughs> here. Uh, Shah Janis was standing on the globe. Apart from protection, other paintings showing uh, groups of ascetic mystics and a number of illustrated manuscripts were also executed. So some of the examples of miniatures are Gulistan and Bustan of Saadi, copied uh, for the emperor in the first and second years of his reign, and Shah Jahan Nama in 1657. These are all the important works during Shah Jahan. And during Aurangzeb Aram, period, the painting declined. He was the staunch orthodox muslim so he resent about the paintings so in orthodox islam painting is forbidden so during this period 
it it lost much of its earlier quality and a large number of court painters migrated to the provincial courts as well as other uh, rulers like rajasthani rulers and during the period of badur shah after aurangzeb there was a certain revival in the mughal painting and after that neglect shown by the after the neglect shown by the aurangzeb so aurangzeb period uh, saw the decline in the uh, mughal painting so this is it about the mughal painting uh please like the video share it on facebook and subscribe to the channel thank you thanks for watching